Shortly after the vocalizations had ceased, I got another visitor, and this was no cat or raccoon. It was huge. Now remember, one camera is laying on its back facing up in the sky. I have a blind spot or a hole. Yes, I do get an alarm that tells me that something just to pass through quadrant four. And so I'm hoping that my cameras will do the job. I'm not aware of the one being face up looking into the sky. It's nine degrees out there. It's bitterly cold. I'm not going out unless I have to. <clears throat> now this person or Bigfoot or whatever it was knows exactly what it's doing because it went to check to see if the bush nail was working. It appears that it took its hand and waved it in front of the camera in order to see if it worked. Well, the camera got the last bit of it. What it didn't know was its shadow was cast to where the Bushnell camera could also see it. The secondary light was a infrared light that gave basically gave backup lighting for the game cameras. So that's basically the story. And there was nobody else there. I drove the roads before I came into camp. There was nobody on the roads. No cars. No parked cars, no hikers, no campers.